Great news everyone, today the Electronics Club at Los Angeles City College is going to show you how we made a very basic printed circuit board. This is what the board looked like on the breadboard. Since it was going to be built on a circuit board, we rearranged it as you can see. These are the circuit boards we used. The circuit was drawn on the board by hand using a permanent black marker. Although it didn't result in the sharpest drawing ever, it works for the purpose of this video. Here the board is placed in the ferric chloride solution where it remained for around 20 minutes. Remember not to spill or touch the etching solution as it will almost stain anything and remember to dispose of the solution properly. The printed board was then washed carefully with water over a small container. The black marker was removed using a paper towel with alcohol. The next step is to drill the holes for the components. Make sure that the diameter of the drill bit you're using is much smaller than the diameter of the hole you drew. Wear a safety mask and safety glasses to prevent injury. In order to avoid cracks on our board, we had the drill bit rotating at a very high rate. The next step is to set up your soldering station in such a way so that all your components are readily available. Insert the lead of the component through the board and heat up the lead. Now have the solder touch the lead and almost instantaneously you'll notice that the solder will melt onto the lead. You should notice a volcanic shape form around the lead. Clipping the ending of the lead is a good idea in order to prevent short circuits. The soldering process will be the same for every other component. If you have any questions, send us an email at electronicsclub.lacc at yahoo.com.